This is my job. This is my business. This is what I do. Shout out to my son. I love you. Shout out to Arlen. That's my dude. We definitely got to get back in the gloves. Yeah. Well, that's another business I want to start a, a boxing class. Yeah. I need to get back to. Yeah, I'm not a fighter. But you want to learn boxing? Yeah, man. Let me tell you something. When I was about 13, 14, I think, my brother had got into it with this girl, and she wanted to fight me. I was like, dang, you know, in my head, I'm like, man, I'm not a fighter. I was like, I'm real soft. I was like, but like, I got to stand up for my brother because he's younger than me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really ask him why she wanted to fight no none of that i went out there and got my ass <laughs> rocked <laughs> oh my god yo like busted eye lip and i was so embarrassed yo i'm not a fighter like i never learned how to fight when i was growing up you know yeah. what i'm saying i really wasn't confrontational. I was bullied a lot, so I stayed to myself. You was bullied a lot? What school did you go to? A lot. My grandma moved. Yeah. And I feel like every school I went to, I was bullied. I didn't have, you know what I'm saying, what everybody else had. Yeah. So I was always looked at as different. Same here. I was rocking hand-me-downs. Shout out to my cousin, Trent. That man gave me down there everything that I had growing up. As far as clothes, shoes, everything. Anything that didn't go to his nephew came to me. You know what I'm saying? So he played a big part in my life. Uh, my cousin Nug, too. Uh, same thing with him. Shout out to Kim Folk, man. Yeah, they really they really were the ones I looked up to growing up. You know what I'm saying? Them two, so. They had a big part to play. I used to wear their shoes to school. You know what I'm saying? I used to wear nug clothes to school. I go up and you know, let to come over there. Hey fam, I got some clothes right here. You want them? You pick through them. Whatever you don't want, throw them away. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. As a kid, I didn't have a nobody to look up to. Yeah. I didn't want to be like mm, nobody. Well, that's that's you know that that's actually one of the questions I wanted to ask you. Who do you look up to now? Anybody? It could be my sister Toya. Okay. Mm. She's not my real sister. She started off as my supervisor, and we just grew close in the outside relationship. Okay. So she, she helps you out a lot. A lot. She's the reason why I'm employed right now. <laughs> She's very supportive. Um, she got my back. If I call her, I know she's going to come in 2.5 seconds. Okay. You know, and uh, yeah, she, she's, she's been through a lot herself, and she still finds ways to help others. And she does it without any complaining, you know, asking for, like, anything back. She's just so graceful about everything. So like, she. That's what's up. So what's your support system like? Like, you have a support circle? Anybody you want to shout out from your support circle? Uh, shout out my people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shout out my people. Shout out uh, to the people. Close, people I'm closest to, you know, my cousin, Moose, uh, my sister Kiki, Quinna, my auntie. Uh, you got to interview Kiki too. Oh, my with sister. The little, yeah, with the wild drinks, you know. Ah, Shout out to I Kiki saw. with the drinks. They good as hell. Yeah, go drink. shop Keys Wild Drinks. Yeah. Make sure y'all get the Twister. The Twister is good. I think that's the only one I had. Which one did I have last time? Was it the Twister? 
I think he did have another twister. But it was a mixture. She mixed it with something, but I was, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, well, it was good, whatever it was. She do, definitely do her thing. Uh, hopefully, she'll have one coming soon or in the near, in the future. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, coming soon. So, I'm going to try to, you know, get as many people as I can, but that's what's up. So, your sister in your support circle, you know. I got a question. I, I, I really want to touch on this topic, you know what I'm saying? Cause, oh, wow. Yeah. So, your dad. You said your dad was in prison. I was at the feds. Growing up. Yeah. Okay, so since he's been out, how long has he been out? Since I was in about the ninth grade. So I would say about 2008, 2009, I okay. think. So what's your relationship with him right now? We're cool. That's my dog. That's your dog? Loves him. Okay. Except for when he made me mad. Well, of course. <laughs> and we like, well, more like he here and this is me. Yeah. So you're, you're, are you a daddy's baby? Uh, Yeah, I feel like it. Daddy's little girl? Yeah. Okay. I love my daddy. That's what's up. He does. He does a lot for you. What does he do? He do a lot for Arlen. He do a lot for Arlen. Not for me. Okay. Well, but I know, still that's, appreciate him though. That's that's grandson. Well, yeah, he do. He'll do it for Arlen. So. He got a good relationship with Arlen. Yeah, they pretty close. He love he love his grandpa. Okay. But not since we've been going through what we've been going through. He, he, he pretty tired of it. Yeah, that, that puts a, <laughs> that's, that's stress, man. That's really stress talking. <laughs> they, need, they need some space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My baby over there stressing. I know, man. I ain't gonna cap. I miss the little dude. He always keep me rolling. Uh, 